Tastes good. But they don't belong in the newsroom. Just just in, scientists discovered that Canadian bacon is actually ordinary ham. This made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad news. Miserable bloody moment, no sense of humor. With what Dr. Ashland just said, do you, do you concur? Don't talk to it, Mary. Don't encourage it. We're just like Kevin Bacon. The only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. I think we can all appreciate the relevance of that now. Welcome back to the Hollywood Thumb, a short form movie news podcast brought to you by It's Just Two Movies, of which I am the host of both of those things. My name is Daniel King. I'm Birdman. Let's do the news. Uh, let's talk trailers first. Uh, I'm sure everybody is like, ooh, uh, buzz. A buzz. I'm, I'm a little bee. Buzz, buzz. There's new trailers for fucking Mario and uh, I think um, Black Panther. W- Wakanda Forever is going to be the the other the other big one. Now, there are lots of new trailers out this week, but these are the two I wanted to highlight. Uh, I know you, you watched both of them. You probably have more interesting things to say about Mario, so let's go ahead and kick that off. <clears throat> okay. Uh, not that you don't have interesting things to say about Black Panther. You're just not a big Marvel movie guy. Right. Not that you you like most of the ones that you've seen. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't keep up with it as much as... Uh... It's getting to be exhausting. Yeah. I would really <laughs> like for them to pump the brakes on some of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they won't. You don't even get a chance to miss things anymore. <laughs> like, oh man, you remember that movie? Wait, 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 years ago? I really liked that one. <laughs> Yeah. Nope. Now it's not like there's no, more next week. You know, so <laughs> You're right. Stay tuned. You don't have anything to do, do you, Danny? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So we got the trailer for Mario. Um, how are you feeling about it? Um, you like the part when he goes, "It's Mario time." <laughs> <laughs> it looks fun. I don't know why Hollywood insists on certain actors doing the voices uh, Chris, for... Are you talking about Chris Pratt? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's terrible. I, I didn't get enough of it to really make a fair assessment, yeah. I guess. Here's here's how I feel about it. I'm okay with it not being like, here we go, it's a me. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, depressed Mario. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with that because I think for a, like, hour 45 minute film or whatever this is going to wind up being, that would be very grating. Yeah. For an hour and 45 minutes. Oh, oh no. What do that. you mean? It's a pizza pie. <laughs> uh-huh, I got a spaghetti in this pipe. Oh, no. Right. Oh, my brother Luigi. Oh. I feel. Uh, like, I don't know. I just feel like there are uh, better voice actors out there. I wouldn't there. have got Chris Pratt, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think I would have got Chris Pratt. You know how I got? Uh, the guy from Auntie Donna. The Italian guy. <laughs> <laughs> from the anti Donny anti Donna comedy troupe. Uh uh what about Ben Schwartz? Mark. Yeah, Ben Schwartz would be a good pick. Uh didn't Ben Schwartz do Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. yeah, and he did fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, he's just got such a personality. You know what he, I mean? Yeah, he does. I he kind of s- leaps off the screen. I do really like Charlie Day as Luigi. Ah. I think that's I think that's gonna be good. So that wasn't in the trailer, correct? It, it was like two seconds at the end of it. Luigi's like running away from a bunch of uh, dry bones, and then he like goes into a a big house and closes the door. Presumably, it's like Luigi's, Luigi's haunted mansion. Ma- oh, so, we, but we didn't get to hear Luigi, correct? He goes, or, ha, ha. Oh, okay. I think that's all. That's all you get out of him. Uh, so. And he goes, oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Some of the other actors in this, like you said, I am very excited about. Charlie Day as Luigi. Jack Black as Bowser. Uh, Yeah, I think that's going to be really good. I could have seen a world where they're flip-flopped, where Chris Pratt voices Bowser, and you get Jack Black as Mario. Yeah, I could see that. Not doing the same, because he's he's bringing it down a little bit. He's adding some, he's putting some seasoning on it for Bowser. You know what I mean? Right. Anna jo- uh, Anna Taylor Joy as Princess Peach. Yeah, didn't get uh, didn't get any of that. Keegan Michael Key as, as Toad. As Toad, I did like that. Oh, he's man, he's doing something with it though. Because on my watch, I was like, I know who that is. Yeah. And then I read Keegan Michael Key, and I was like, that couldn't have been. Doesn't him. sound. It like doesn't him. sound like him at all. Yeah. Uh, so whatever he's, it's working for him though, because it uh, it was like a good little Toad voice. I was cool with that. Yeah. Overall, I'm impressed with the trailer. I think it's gonna. I think it's looks like, fun. How could you not 
enjoy Mario right. as anyone. I think it's <laughs> I think it's bold that they were like, or Mario's like, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Instead of being like, here we go, here we go, you know, like <laughs> like just in, in any any Mario terms. Yeah. So I think they are trying to remove it from that a little bit, which is which is fine. This is for half of the time that Mario has existed. He didn't talk at all. Right. It wasn't until recently when he learned how to triple jump that he was like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm thinking that looks fine. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on it. Uh, I'm excited to watch it. I still don't know that I would have got Chris Pratt, but I think it's the kind of thing that while you're watching the movie 10 minutes into it, it will have, it just, di- it will have it, dissolved. Yeah, it, it, you'll be fine with it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Wakanda Forever. Wait, I'm going to do the thing that I've got about Wakanda Forever. I don't know if they will sure. be able to echo it. But for that trailer, that's the best looking trailer I've seen from anything in Phase 4 so far. So as someone kind of from the outside, mm-hmm. uh, the just the production value alone for a movie like this, yeah, it looks fantastic. It looks killer, like, yeah. Everything looks great. Here I I don't have an issue with a lot of story stuff in the in the newer phase, but what I do have a problem with is I feel like everybody's tired of making them. I feel like they're pushing all the VFX people so, so too hard. Well, yeah, that's... and in some of those movies, I I can tell that it just looks like it was all shot in a fucking warehouse, right? Covered in green screen, yeah. Like that's a lot, like those last of uh, those uh, No Way Home. And uh, the Doctor Strange uh, Multiverse of Madness. That, like, for a, a good 70% of those movies, I'm like, this is just a warehouse. This is a totally CGI environment. And it's not to say that it looks bad. It just, I can tell. Yeah. There are bits that remind me of fucking 300. When did that come out? 2003? <sighs> so, like something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, <sighs> yeah, I guess I know what you mean there. Uh, I feel like a lot of this, a lot of this stuff's getting rushed. Mm-hmm. I get it. They're making money, but this trailer looks fucking dope. I thought it looked pretty good. Looks pretty dope. Uh, uh, I I haven't seen the first one just because, like I said, mm, it's good. Not uh, I, Marvel's kind of beating you over the head with yeah. everything. Yeah, right yeah. About now, so yep. <laughs> it's a lot to keep up with. It is. It's, it's a bit too much in my opinion, but um, I'm still keeping up with it nonetheless. I just am getting a little tired of having to keep up. With it. <laughs> right. Uh, we can go back to the format where it's just like you guys release a movie every year or two movies. That's fine. Not four. Not four and and multiple series and I, oh uh, yeah. A- anyway, right. Anyway, if you love everything that Marvel's ever made and and you're telling me I should like go fucking blow my brains out, that's fine. You're right. It is good, and I'm a dumbass. <laughs> uh, I'm fine with that. That's fine. Like what you like. Don't don't let me step on your dreams. But this trailer looks fucking sick. Uh, you get to see there is a glimpse of Ironheart, which is like a um, it's just a, just an Iron Man, uh, like another Iron Man kind of redesign as far as the stories are concerned. Okay. Uh, it looks like you're getting a female Black Panther, so I'm guessing probably Shuri, which is uh, his. Uh, Ch- Chadwick Boseman's character's sister in the okay. movies, uh, who's a, just a brilliant scientist and engineer. So you would think that she would do the Ironheart thing since she's the genius. Of it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, the trailer looks fucking great. And honestly, I am more pumped about this than anything I've been in the Phase 4 release so far. Nice. Uh, for me, Phase 4 has really pretty much been three movies and, and two of them I already named and they look like they were shot in a warehouse. The other one was uh, Shang Chi. I really like that one. I, I I liked Love and Thunder again. A lot of it looks like it's shot in a warehouse, which just yeah. kind of takes me out of it a bit. You takes know what you I out mean? Of the experience a little bit takes me out of yeah. the movie viewing experience because something about it I can just I can just tell the whole thing CGI. Does it look good? Yeah, yeah, it looks fine. But I'm thinking about that instead of yeah. thinking about oh the majesty of outer space or what right. whatever. I want, so are all the are I would assume all or most of the Marvel movies have a like IMAX release? 
I don't know, right? but I would or, imagine a bunch of them. Do. You know what I mean? Well, kind of forever would be a cool one to check out in a, in a IMAX. Right. Uh, but let's talk more comic book stuff, Birdman. I know you love comic books. <laughs> you know, I know uh, everything about comic books. We're, we're going to talk about Todd McFarlane's property, Spawn, which was one of my favorite comic books when I was a kid. Uh, as a property I have always wanted to see get the red carpet treatment, and it brings me uh, it, br- it brings me great joy to find out that they got some uh, very very talented new writers on board. They got Scott Silver who wrote Joker, and Malcolm Spellman who worked on Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Captain America Four. Uh, either did work on or is still working on. Uh, they got a, another novice writer in there named Matt Mixon who's going to throw down the screenplay. And I, I wouldn't mind to cover the original Spawn movie on its just two movies someday. I was so I was looking it up as a bad movie. As a it bad has movie, not aged well. <laughs> so that would be. I think that'd be kind of fun. On the day, it looked fucking mind blowing. Like the bit with his cape when he's like he's going across a wall or whatever. Because part of the comic is his, his cape is technically alive. Uh, very very cool to see in cinemas as it came out in the nineties, but. Uh, given any amount of time, oof, oof, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> so this, the new Spawn is going to be a film, correct? Correct. Okay, I didn't know if it was correct. A, okay. Uh, speaking of other nerd shit, uh, Rings of Power season two officially started filming. Uh, season one was filmed in New Zealand, and now they're going to move production to l- some place called London. <laughs> London. Uh, I guess everyone was tired of Burger, the Burger Rings of Power. Yeah, they have burger rings. We mentioned in a previous episode, just two movies. That's a call. That's a callback for somebody who's been paying really close attention. In the industry, we call that. In the industry, we call that a callback. That's what it's called. Rings of power. That's yeah. what they used to call me in high school. Delicious snacks and confectioneries. Burger rings. Burger rings. Fantas. <laughs> Fantas. Not the Fanta door. Uh, House of the Dragon season two is going to begin filming March of 2023. So everybody's probably going to have to wait a minute for that to drop. Uh, not sure how many episodes are left currently, but I have been keeping up with it. What are you? You check out? Um, no. Check out the Dragon uh, Show. No, because Game of Thrones left such a bad taste in my mouth that I have not. I can see that. I, I'm enjoying it so far, having not been tainted by the um, by the sour taint of. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Of the end of Game of Thrones, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, it feels like the kind of thing where if I stopped watching after season one and never picked up another season, I would be fine with that. Like Of which one? Of the... Of the, the new one? The one I'm watching now. House of the Dragon. That's what it's yeah. called. Uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm liking it. It's a pretty good show. There, there's a, a lot of dragon stuff up front. Yeah. Like, okay. I, I know that you had to wait what, five, five seasons, six seasons for dragons in Game of Thrones? I don't remember. A while. Did you watch any of Game of Thrones? I watched season one. And, like, like, you could and watch... like two or three episodes of season two. And yeah, then you I could fell probably off. watch like the first six seasons and be like, and be like, this is fucking awesome. Pretty good stuff, and after yeah. after that, it's like... Eh. After the dragons show up, just bail, though. Huh? Like, <laughs> I don't give a shit about these dragons. On the, uh, on the note of things I don't give a shit about, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Now You See Me 3 officially lands a director, Ruben... Fleischer, who worked on Venom and Uncharted, along with Seth Graham, what Seth Graham Smith, there to pen go. out the screenplay, being overseen by Fleischer. Uh, Seth Graham Smith is mostly known for his work on Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which is the most faithful adaptation of the literature. I'm told. Oh, he also worked on, or I guess he was a producer for it, uh, and he did the screenplay for the Lego Batman movie. Okay, that's arguably one of the weaker Lego movies. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, do what you will with that information. Are you, do, how you feel about Now, me, now You See Me? Did you watch those? I did not. Now you don't? <laughs> now you don't, because I'm not a big Jesse Eisenberg fan. More like Now You Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. you're. Not. I couldn't have imagined you watching those. My, I watched both of them, and every time I was like, most unbelievable thing about either of these movies is that Jesse Eisenberg is cool. <laughs> Because he plays a cool guy. He's like a like a David Blaine or, you know oh, what I mean? Fuck. Of course he is. Yeah, of course he is. He's super cool in him. And I'm like, I just don't buy him as a cool guy. I'm sure he is. Like, in real life, he's probably he's probably cool. Or maybe he's pretentious. I don't fucking know. But they're going to remake Tarzan. Oh, shit. Tarzan. You like, you like Tarzan? Uh, I don't really... Sure. Well, it's reportedly in development <laughs> at Sony via The Hollywood Reporter. What do you, what do you think about that? That's awesome. Are you a Tarzan guy? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, not sure. 
I am I have, am aware of Tarzan. I have heard of Tarzan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I don't know what else there is to say about that. I just feel like every ten years they're like, we need a t- somebody get me a get me a give me a God, Tarzan. Give me a goddamn Tarzan up in here. <laughs> Uh, so we'll do, let's, let's move on to Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Oh, fuck yeah. Gonna get a theatrical release in, that. in three big select theaters. I neglected to write them down. Uh, but before Netflix, the week of Thanksgiving, it's just gonna be in select theaters. Okay. For a week. I thought that was pretty cool. That's cool, yeah. Uh. That's rare. I'm not normally the type of guy to be like, let's go to the movies on a major holiday. Uh. Right. But, but I might for this... Yeah. Like if I drive by the cinema and there's like 10 cars in the parking lot, oh, we're fucking going. Oh, we're going. That's the thing is, I... Is this a new thing for Netflix? Have there been any other Netflix movies that came out That's what I was thinking. In like, cinemas? I don't... I don't think so. We should have probably looked, but... Well, either way, what's not in dispute is that Ryan Johnson tweeted that it'll have a special one week theatrical sneak preview event. So I still I'm still not crazy about the title of that that film. Glass Onion. Just the whole like Glass Onion. A, a Glass Onion out, colon a, a, a Knives, knives out, out Mystery. mystery. It's like it's just a lot. It's, it's grown on me over the originally I was like that's way too long of a title for anything. <laughs> right. That's too long of a title for a Bright Eyes album. <laughs> So it is way too long of a title for a film. For a film, exactly. <laughs> I am excited for it. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Uh, we'll see. Well, we'll see I, was, I was excited. I was getting really pumped about Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Oh, and it's man. getting some It's getting some pretty meh reviews. Let's see what we got here. Uh, so, 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb and a 48 meta score. Yeah, that's not very good. That's, uh, that's, that's not great. Man, I just, I just don't know, man. I, it's the kind of thing like I don't know. I, I would, I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm it, still gonna watch it. I, I want to see that fully loaded fucking cast and Christian cast Bale doing his ridiculous. weird shit. Yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous. No, I, it, and the, the uh, like breakdown of the story, like the, the synopsis for it, sounds interesting as hell. So even if it's mediocre as fuck, uh, man, I don't know. I bet it's just people. It'll, I bet it's just people being butt hurt about something in it. It'll and probably still I be think entertaining. It's probably going to be okay. I don't yeah. know. We'll watch it though, and uh, you know what? Maybe maybe it's uh, maybe it's good and I'm validated, or maybe it's bad. We'll see. And I'll be like, oh man, that's what'll happen. <laughs> uh, Screen Crush is reporting that James Cameron has already shot the first part of Avatar Four. I don't know if he knows that Avatar 2 isn't out yet, or, <laughs> or is it? Is Avatar 2 out? I don't think so. If it is, I haven't seen anything on the internet about it. Cause no, we, because they they just, uh, they're doing a screen uh, a uh, re-release, I guess, for of Avatar. Avatar 1. Yeah, uh, in get, theaters. Get it out of here. I'm tired, of it, be, I'm tired of it being in theaters. It's fine. It's fine. It does not need five theatrical releases <laughs> right. or whatever. So, Just fucking uh, quit. The second Avatar will be released December sixteenth. Do you this know? Year. Do you know why it's the highest grossing box office film of all time? Because it's always in the box office. <laughs> is <laughs> right. why. Is why. You know it why? never leaves. You know why McDonald's makes more money than any other fast food places? Because they're fucking everywhere. <laughs> That's it. The accessibility. That's right. It's a fine movie. It's a fine movie. I have no bones about it. I would even go as far as to say it's a good movie. But if you've seen it in the theater once. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> once is plenty. I own it. I'm like, you know, we can watch it after this. We won't, but we could. All right. What else we got? Let's see here. Chris Chinbale. Chris Chinbale. What about uh, the Oregon Trail? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a news headline that I read. Um, classic video game Oregon Trail will become a movie, which... And I thought this was common knowledge, but the video game Oregon Trail actually based off of historical <laughs> events. Right. <laughs> That's why it's such a motherfucker. <laughs> like sometimes you'd be like, oh man, I had everything picked out perfect and I still lost. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> That's how That's it how went. It, <laughs> you get dysentery and then yeah, you, and <laughs> you just fucking die, die in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, not everybody gets to have a Donner party, okay? <laughs> Got fucking uh no, I just I thought this was fucking crazy. Evidently it's going to be a musical, which if they do uh. it if they do it with the right amount of like these conditions are horrific, 
and the right amount of levity, I think I would check out a musical of the Oregon Trail video game. That's so strange. It's so got strange. I guess it's got maybe it is specifically a a movie about the game and not the Oregon Trail. I have no idea. I, I don't think anybody has any ideas. <laughs> uh, how about Violent Night? Did you get to check into that at all? Violent Night. David so... Harbour, he's Santa Claus, and he's doing Die Hard. It's oh, really? A, it's more of a Christmas Die Hard. He's Santa. He's doing a big punch. Probably call somebody a son of a bitch. What, what do you think about David Harbour as, as a punchy Santa Claus? I mean, I like David Harbour. I do, too. I think he, he's a great actor. He looks the part. He does look the part. This is a less anti-Semitic, whatever that one with Mel Gibson was called, Fat Man. I just got uh, Brendan Fletcher as Krampus. Oh, I like Brendan Fletcher. Dude, what else is he in that's coming out soon? Hang on one sec. Brendan Fletcher? The Fletcher, huh? The Fletch. In the flesh. Oh, The Last of Us. He's going to be Robert in The Last of Us. Yep, yep, that's right. Uh, The TV series. Yep. Did you watch the trailer for The Last of Us? The TV when series. he's like, Ellie, I'm sick of being the last of us. And she's like, well, there's fucking nobody else here, Joel. So it's just you and me. That's what now we're, it's just the last of us. That's, just, that's it. That's what the movie's about. And then they're like <laughs> fried mushrooms. And then, uh, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. No, the trailer for that actually looked great. That looks, the last of us looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If that's new news at this point, but uh, I've got, uh, I've got one more thing here. R, R, R. Triple La- R? Uh, Triple R launches Oscar Best Picture campaign. Uh, Toto did some pretty good shit. Uh, it's even on my watch list. I just have never gotten around to it because it's fucking three hours and seven minutes long. So, I, have you seen, like, the trailer or the thing, like, where you scroll over it on Netflix and it just starts playing? I have not even heard about this. Okay. <laughs> well, it's like a Bollywood film that evidently is, like, peak ball. Like, it's the best thing that's ever come out of Bollywood. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, every review I have ever seen for it is like, wow, oh my God, wow, wow, incredible. I was blown away. Wow. Wow. Just wowing it. Um, but it's going to get some Oscar buzz, I guess. I don't know whether it's going to get one or not, but uh, they'll, they'll probably will give it to somebody who doesn't deserve it. Triple R, Rise, Roar, Revolt. Yeah, th- baby. Uh, so... Yeah, this is the first time hearing of this. Yeah. But yeah, it's three hours long. Holy shit. Wow. That's like farts. Ripen, rip, repeat. (laughs) (laughs) Got it. Got it. Some of that toilet humor. I always got it right there 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 on the cusp. (laughs) Uh, So I'm going to bump that up my list and uh, and check that out sooner than later. But um, that is is everything that I've got here. Is there anything you would like to add, Birdman? I believe that's the news. Well, this has been Birdman. I've been Daniel King. And you're right. You're goddamn right. That has been the fucking news. Good night, America. That's just grossly inappropriate. Come on, Ed. It's bullcrap. A saucy line will not get you far with me. He's not the Bethard. He's a very naughty boy. Stop being such a dick. No, no, it, it, it's not schizophrenia. It's just a voice in my head. Your love of the halflings leap has clearly slowed your mind. Good speech. Nice and short. Please, more time for drinking. <laughs> Break out the ale! He's been a thirsty! Yeah! The Hollywood Thumb is brought to you by It's Just Two Movies and is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios. Both can be found wherever you get your podcasts.